Football Queensland has developed a new competition structure for the 2020 NPL junior season. These changes represent a renewed focus on junior player development and pathways. Promotion and relegation between the NPL and FQPL junior competitions was previously based on the performance of each club's first grade team. The new competition structure will bring an end to the FQPL junior system as it evolves into a unified NPL competition, meaning junior teams will no longer be affected by the finishing position of their senior team. Young players develop at different rates and different times, so the new competition structure has been designed based on the guiding principles of like versus like, best versus best, and for the good of the game. To determine the 2020 junior NPL competition, NPL and former FQPL clubs have been ranked from 1 to 24 using a data-based junior grading model. The data set includes results from a Football Queensland club technical audit alongside each club's total junior league points from the 2019 season. These factors, when combined, determine each club's ranking score, resulting in the ranking order from 1 to 24. After clubs are ranked from 1 to 24, the top six clubs will be allocated to a shield pool that will also include the Brisbane Roar Two Star Academy. The remaining 18 clubs will be allocated across two other pools, Maroon and White, based on their ranking, as can be seen here. The new NPL Junior League will run across three distinct phases throughout the season. The pre-season phase, competition phase and tournament phase. The pre-season phase will see clubs play each team within their pool once. At the conclusion of this phase, each pool will be displayed as a ladder with clubs positioned in the ladder based on an accumulation of their points across all junior age groups. This will provide further validation for the initial grading process and determine each club's new re-ranked position from 1 to 24. For the competition phase, we will form two new leagues the NPL Academy and the NPL Development. 13 clubs will be allocated to each of these two pools for the competition phase. The top placed three clubs from both the Maroon Pool and White Pool will join the six teams from the Shield Pool to form the NPL Academy alongside Brisbane Roar Academy. The NPL Development will be comprised of the remaining 12 clubs with the QAS girls also participating in this competition phase. The competition phase will consist of 12 games for each team in the NPL Academy and the NPL Development, with accumulated points going towards the following year's grading process. After the competition phase, we will enter the tournament phase, designed to deliver a higher intensity end to the season and playing against closely rated competition. For the tournament phase, clubs will be split into four pools based on their finishing rank at the end of the pre-season phase. These pools will play for the Queensland Cup and the gold, silver and bronze plates with all accumulated points counting towards the following year's grading process. So now to recap. Initial grading will be completed based on a junior grading model. Teams will then play in the pre-season phase before clubs are re-ranked based on an accumulation of their points across all junior age groups in the pre-season phase. Clubs will then compete in either the NPL Academy or the NPL Development in the competition phase. Finally, clubs will be split across four pools for the final tournament phase of the season. This process will be repeated each year. For more information, go to footballqueensland.com.au